Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a time code or timestamp onto your video clips. So traditionally, this effect is used for editors to add a timestamp onto their rough cuts so that when they're sharing things with other editors, you can say, oh, there's a mess up at this exact frame or this exact second, and it's burned into the video clip for you to see. But a lot of times on YouTube and other videos, you might see people putting it as a stopwatch kind of for challenges and things like that. So I've got this clip on the timeline and in order to add this time code burn in, what we can do is go to the right and search for time code. You should find it in the video effects folder under video and you should see time code and then just click and drag it onto your clip. Now what this will do is it'll place a little time code on the bottom and you have a few options for how to adjust things. You have the size of the time code, the position, so if you want it in the corner or the side, whatever you want, and the opacity, how bright that backdrop is, and then also the field symbol or not. And then most importantly, you have the format and the way that it displays the time. So you can display it by frames, so zero frames all the way to however many frames go by in the clip, or you could display it by the Society of Motion Pictures standard, so you can see five seconds, six seconds, and however many frames, eight, nine, 10 seconds. Now time code source is another important one. This is where it starts counting from. So you could do it per clip or per the actual media file. So if you do it per clip, it's gonna start at zero at the beginning of the clip. And when it reaches another cut, it'll start at zero again if it's on the clip. So each clip will have its own counting or counter. However, if you have it set to media, then it'll look at the actual media source. So this clip is 25 seconds long. And if there's a cut right here, it's a cut at one second and it jumps right to eight seconds because there was a cut from one to seven seconds where the footage was deleted or cut out. So it'll count that in the timer. You also have things like label text, but these just limit you to saying camera one or camera two. You could use the title tool if you want to add a custom title or label. And you also have things like the offset, which will give you an option to offset things by a certain amount of seconds backwards or forwards if you want. So that's the basics of how to add a time code or a timer onto your clips. So if you guys like this video, definitely leave a like in the comments below and subscribe if you're not to stay tuned for all future videos. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that at Justin OD Show. If you want to ask me questions or send me links or anything like that. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.